everybody, it is me, David Bailey, and today, we're going to talk about Minecraft. I've done a few Minecraft survival videos already, but the screen recorder was not the best, so unfortunately, I had to delete the app and cancel the series. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Mickey's over here. Get out of here. I'm recording a video. Mickey. Yeah. Ah! That's better. Okay, as I was saying, let's talk about Minecraft. For those of you who might not play Minecraft, you might be wondering, what makes Minecraft so much fun that you want to play for hours every day? Well, I don't have an answer. I don't know. It's just something about accomplishing stuff. Building whatever you want. Surviving. Just adding more and more to the game you in minecraft there is no story you make your own story literally you can make your own story in a book but that's not the point you make your own story you decide what happens in your story you decide what to do you can go mining you can buy monsters you can go tame a wolf or a ocelot or any of that so but you know, there was one thing that could have completely changed Minecraft when not sold Minecraft to Microsoft. Oh goodness, I'm pretty sure at least some of us started to freak out at that time. At the at the time, I didn't even know a thing about Minecraft. I haven't even heard of it when this happened. But when it got sold to Microsoft, surprisingly, Microsoft didn't want to change a thing. Thing about Minecraft. They just wanted to add more stuff to it. They didn't change anything. Okay, maybe they did change some of the textures a tiny bit, but the textures don't even have to do with the gameplay. That just has to do with the looks of the game, not how the game is played. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that Microsoft kept Minecraft the way it was. I'm surprised Microsoft didn't take a big step like we are going to completely remove Minecraft from the PC and move it to something like the Xbox. But instead, they did something else with it and they put it on their Xbox consoles. At least I think Xbox is Microsoft. Correct me if I'm wrong. But instead of just completely removing it, later on they decided they're not just going to remove they're not going to remove it from the PC at all. Keep it there, but make it for Xbox. Makes sense? Eventually, Sony asked permission in to have Minecraft on their console, seeing as it's a pretty popular game. Well, it happened. Sooner or later, Nintendo and, and Microsoft did a deal and recently released Minecraft on the Wii U. It actually released a few days, uh, maybe like a week, a little bit, like maybe a week and two days before Christmas, I decided. But anyways, yeah, so basically, they, my, and then there was, you know, Minecraft Pocket Edition, which came, which was actually the second edition of Minecraft after PC, but Pocket Edition is my favorite edition. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that there was also a Windows 10 edition and PS Vita edition. Oh well, as I was saying, Minecraft Pocket Edition is my favorite edition because it's portable. The controls are not super complicated with con with the computer keys or the game controller or any of that. Because they can be pretty complicated when you first start playing. And then they're and then they're adding more and more stuff to PE that there is on PC. Sooner or later, Pocket Edition is gonna become so much similar to PC that it's literally going to be almost exactly the same. And anyone and almost everyone would rather pay ten dollars than twenty five on the PC. Plus, considering if you buy an Amazon 
a console called Amazon Fire for your TV, you can actually buy Minecraft Pocket Edition off Amazon and literally play Pocket Edition on your TV. So, this could be pretty big. I mean, the reason I said $10 instead of the price it is now, well, might still be on sale, but before it was on sale, it was $7. But by the time it's almost exactly the same as PC, I 100% should... I, okay, maybe not 100% guarantee you, but I can 50% guarantee you that by the time it's almost exactly like PC, it's going to go up another 2 to $3 in the Play Store. Because honestly, as high as they can go in the Play Store is $10. That's it. They're not allowed to go any higher than that, except for... When you're buying power-ups in games like Angry Birds, then they're allowed to. But, they're not allowed to do that when buying the actual game. So, Minecraft Pocket Edition is becoming so, so big. In the next update for it, they're planning on adding slime blocks, pistons, redstone repeaters, um, dispensers, and droppers and all of that they're adding even more redstone they've already added redstone but they haven't added everything that's redstone it basically added the redstone basics so yeah but i cannot wait for uh there to be more um redstone because uh this will be phase two of redstone i don't know if this will be if, if there will be a phase three but by the time phase two is out there are going to be some freaking amazing redstone contraptions in Minecraft Pocket Edition. There already have been pretty dang amazing ones, but with pistons, redstone repeaters, and all of that, it's going to be even better, guys. So, yeah. And guess what else? Okay, guys, I'm getting a little bit of hand out of this. I mean, you guys are probably thinking, this is starting to turn into a Minecraft Pocket Edition news video. That's not what I'm trying to turn this into. Basically, my point is, Minecraft is such a revolutionary game that it could, by 2018, it could be the most popular game in the world. That's how stinking popular it is. I don't care about fallout or call of duty trying to take on minecraft or any of that by the time it's like 2017 or 18 minecraft will probably be the most played game in the entire world all thanks to a man named notch and by the time minecraft first release only a couple people play it and now look at today there have been over six i would say 60 million there have been like over 7 million people who have bought Minecraft. Like over 16 million. And that's not even counting the console, all the console editions, or the PS Vita edition, or Pocket edition. That's only counting the PC edition. Now, go and look up on a wiki on how much, on how many people have bought Pocket edition. And the console editions, combine that with all of that, and that'll probably leave you with about over a billion people who've bought the game. It is such a popular game right now that I don't think there could be... Uh, hold on, guys. Hannah, go roll. I'm doing a video. Is there anything in here? No. Are there tablets in here? No! Oh, goodness! <gasps> Sorry, I got interrupted there. What I was saying was, and then, you know, Minecraft is such a popular game, and like, it's it's incredible. Even the most popular YouTubers today play Minecraft, is how popular it is. Minecraft has become such a revolutionary game. But did you know Minecraft is become so popular on YouTube that Minecraft has almost not just become something for playing. 
Minecraft is almost began. Minecraft is almost starting to not only be something for playing, but something for watching. And that is exactly why they're making the Minecraft movie. I'm pretty sure that's the reason they're making it. When they saw how popular Minecraft YouTube videos are getting, like how popular they're getting, they're thinking this is starting to turn into a game that you would watch more than you would play. So, why don't we make a movie? So guys, what did you think about this video? And I hope uh, this video helped you find out about Minecraft and maybe got you interested in it. If you haven't heard or maybe you have heard, but I haven't really heard anything about it. Um, I hope this video helped you to maybe get interested in Minecraft if you haven't. But even if you still do play Minecraft and you're a sole Minecraft player to this day, I still hope you enjoyed this video no matter what. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.